Welcome back to Open Studio. I'm Chisa Alexander, and in studio with us is Chan Frudex, who is a Funza writer, as well as Ndipulele, who is also a Funza writer. Welcome, Ndipulele. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. With pleasure. Uh, we were talking before the break about the story in Numio Skoli and it, what it was about, and, it, and you mentioned it was about your life and everything that has had happened to you and how you became who you are today. And we spoke about the comments that people have put in the inspiration that your life has put into other people's lives and making changes in these. But I also want to ask a little bit more about the story. Um, what, how much media attention did it get when it came out? Were you expecting that kind of attack, attraction when, when you first wrote it down, the first line of the story? I, I started the script in two th the year 2000. Yeah. So in 2002, I had the script in my bag. Yeah. I always walked the script in my bag, okay. you know? So uh, I met this guy at, at the Setingi Film Festival, David Dave Brown, and we yeah. started chatting. You know, people always like, have you written something? Yeah. And, and out comes the script. Out comes the script. Here's the <laughs> script. You know. Be prepared. Yeah. So the next day he went to Johannesburg because he stays there. Okay. And uh, he read the script on the, on the airplane. When he landed, he phoned me, said to me, John, I love the story. You must work on the story. So we started working on the story, like, you know? Yeah. But I was not a professional script writer. writer. You know, so he will guide me with and things like that and stuff like that. In 2007, after a lot of rewrites, yeah. we applied for funding okay. to the NVF. And they sent me on a course. And I was yeah. 60 years old, I was more than 60 years old. So you're never too young to learn. <laughs> yeah. But getting there, you know, I was, I was sent there. My, I wanted this thing on merit. Yeah. My script came there on merit, you know, besides me yeah. being a scholar. Yeah. You know, so when I got there and I saw all those writers and mentors and filmmakers, I was like, you know. Overwhelmed. I, yes, I was you know, totally out of my depth, you know. And when I stepped in there, they all stared at me like, like <laughs> this. I'm like, are we? <laughs> you know? And it was tough. Yeah. Because I only passed in the six. And these were young lines. They started, they were yeah. film school and college and things like that. And then when all the training was done and the script was finally there and it got the media attention that it got, were you expecting that? Were you excited to see that there was so much um, attraction to your story that people grabbed at it with both hands? Was that No, nobody grabbed it with both hands. Is that not what happened? Because it seems no, that way I now. I had to jump through hoops and, you know, and people like, they don't like this, they don't like that, and change this and change that. And you defeated all the odds. I, <laughs> I stuck with it, oh. you know. And uh, okay. in 2011. Yeah. So now we we got funding. Okay, and that's where everything just started snowballing. That's right. Okay. But there's still a lot of writing. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're still writing, <laughs> yes. So you part of Funza as a Funza writer as yes. well. Okay, so how did you get uh, take part or get involved with the with the um, organization? Okay, well, um, I'm a Funza writer, as you just said. Yeah. Now, <coughs> I write um, articles on these inspiring people who are making a difference in their communities. Okay. So, um, I joined Funza as an intern last year, okay. and then I've been writing for them for the last um, year, so to say. And I've um, interviewed more than fifty people, and right. with those fifty people. Mr. John Fredericks here was actually my 49th person that I interviewed. Okay. So yes, that's how I got and how did that change for you when getting to know, get to know such a wonderful person, such an inspiring person? Yes. His story was so inspiring that we we decided to to run the competition that are uh, on him as okay. Funza. Okay. Tell us more about the competition. Oh, okay. Funza is currently running a competition um, for anyone residing in SA um, okay. between the ages of 16 and 26. It's a writing competition. You basically um, have to, to write an essay between 510 
um, words to 750 okay. under the title to not judge a book by its cover. Okay, so the title. by Mr. John Frederick. Okay, so yes. there's a lot <coughs> happening. So they've yes. even got a competition named after yes. you. <laughs> okay. So if you obviously want to know more about the competition. Yes, how do people get involved? How do they go online? Do they phone? Yes. Um, we have like um, we're very hot, hot um, prizes up for grabs. We Can you mention two, a few? We have 2,000 rands for the, for the winner. Okay. And two cinema tickets for the gala premiere. Yes, um, okay. for the two runner-ups, we have 1,000 rand for each. So if you want to learn more about the competition, you can obviously go to our site, live.phones.mobi. Okay. That's where you will get all the information about the competition. Okay, is there yes. a Facebook page at all? Yes, we do have a Facebook page. Uh, it's Funza, F-U-N-T-Z-A. Okay. Yes, that's where you can also get to, to learn more about us and Mr. John Fredericks okay. as well. I just want to repeat again. So the criteria is you must be living in SA? Yes. And the Between age category? The ages of 16, 16 to 26. 16 to 26. Yes. And you, you need to write an essay of? Of um, 500 to, to 750 words under the, the title, Do Not Judge a Book by, by its, its cover. cover. Yes. Okay, which is inspired by Mr. John yes. Fredericks. Yes. Okay. And are you writing in as well? Well, I would, if only I were allowed to, but okay. it's against the policy because I'm an employee. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so final words, Mr. John Fredericks, for the youth out there that are struggling to, to find their way through, because we mentioned your life started through other people labeling you, and then just things got out of hand from there. What inspiring words do you have for the youth out there? I would say it, it, it's in your hands. Life you know, is in your hands. It's in your hands. You decide who you want to be. You know, and never to give up hope because I believe dreams never die. You know, when you were young, they would ask you what you want to be one day, a pilot or train driver, stuff like yeah. that. I wanted to be a writer, you know, but that dream never died. You don't have to belong to a game. Okay, so final words is life is in your hands, you make the decisions. You don't have to take what comes your way. You can make, you, you can make a difference. Sure. That's great to hear. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for staying tuned today. If you want to be part of the Open Studio, you can simply email openstudio at capetowntv.org or you can call 021-448-0448. Please keep in tune with Open Studio every weekday at 5 p.m. Oh, 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 oh,